Hi, welcome to the 3D pen then. Look at this. Aren't these fun? Let's make some. I love tops and try to make some. But guess what? My first ones didn't spin at all. So I consulted the internet and all this fun science came out at me. I am going to let the physics teachers handle the explaining of all this. What ended up being the vital information for my purposes was larger circles work better, keep the weight on the outside. I did and guess what? Worked like magic. I thought this would make a great STEM project. Plus you can have a contest at the end to see whose top spins the longest. I will show you three different ways to go about making a top depending on the equipment you have available. You do have to have a 3D pen and filament. One way of making a top is using a carousel and a segment of 3D mate mat. The carousel you can easily make yourself using the directions in one of my previous videos. The link is in the description. But if you don't want to make a carousel or cut your mat and poke holes in it, you can also use a little screw to save a bit of space in the middle. That's the diameter of your filament. And you will also need a piece of styrofoam. If you stick around till the end of this video, I will also show you how to do this entirely without the mat, if you happen not to have one yet. Next, we will need a straight piece of filament. If you are using 3D Doodler, your filament is already straight. If you are using the spool kind, you will have to straighten a piece with hot water. If you want the tip to be tapered, you can use the end of the filament that came out of the pen, but even straight cut will work.
Now take the top of your carousel and insert the piece of straightened filament into the opening. You should aim for this to be perpendicular to your top. Attach the circle one side at a time and wait a bit in between the sides so you don't melt through the filament and distort your axis. Check it for balance and shorten it as desired. Here we go, the spiral is done. Now, if you don't have a carousel, put a screw of the diameter of your filament in the center to save a hole for the axis. piece of paper on top of your styrofoam so the pen doesn't melt it and make sure the axis will go in perpendicular to your circle and then proceed the same way
you don't have a 3D made mat, find two circles you can trace. These are canning jar lids, wide and regular. I pounded a nail the size of my filament through the center of both to be able to keep them concentric and save an opening for my axis. So your nail should be the size of your filament. Work on a sheet of paper covered with masking tape or any paper that will release the filament cleanly without sticking to the plastic. Now just remove the nail and attach the axis to this one. It's time for the spin endurance contest. And stay tuned for the next projects from the 3D Pendant.